Hello. Hey everybody. So today we wanted to talk about why we choose to sleep on the floor. We sleep on the floor, our kids sleep on the floor, and we actually really like sleeping on the floor. And this originally started because we moved and we traveled a lot. And in moving and traveling a lot, the most expensive and largest piece of furniture to have to move, which costs a lot of money to move, is the bed. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got really tired of folding foam mattresses and putting them <laughs> in boxes and renting trucks and then calling airlines to see if we can fly with our mattresses. It just got so tiring that I thought, you know, if I could do this kind of like the Japanese do, they have those roll up mats, or, you know, if we can do this when we're camping and we have those blow up sleeping pads, like, why can't we sleep on the floor? Originally, we just started sleeping on the floor to be more minimal and just kind of see how it worked. Like she said, I mean, part of um, it being really minimal, you get to utilize space. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember the first time that it, I, I really started off sleeping on the floor. I mean, aside from when you're a kid and you go over to somebody's house. But it, when I was in Ireland with my brother, I, I laid out on the floor and, oh, and we had like a probably like a 300 square foot apartment that we shared, him and his girlfriend and, and me at the time. And it saved all kinds of space. And so you think about, you know, the bedroom becomes a whole nother Spacious. room at that point because because it's it's actually a room, it's not taken up by a bed. So it's like having a, a Murphy bed, only better because, because you, you just roll eye. everything up and yeah. so that's it like really what we utilizes do with the space. the girls room too, is like they sleep on the floor and then during the day that's their playroom. So it works out really, really well. No big square furniture occupying half of the room, mm. you know? So next thing is that it actually feels better. Um, supposedly it's better for the back. Like I mentioned before, <laughs> uh, Japanese sleep with very minimal, I won't say all Japanese, but there's that Japanese tradition. I don't even know what it's called. I don't want to butcher it. But when you first start sleeping, there's definitely like some awkward points. Like I remember it takes the about a week, I think, bone. to really get used to it. Yeah, and you could do things like we're going to show you on another video what our floor setup is and how you know we've learned to sleep on the floor successfully. But um, there was definitely a period of getting used to it. But now that we sleep on the floor, it's like really hard to sleep on a bed it is it does, yeah it, it, it feels it like feels you curve like, yeah, like you're you know how a hammock feels for most people yeah. that's what it ends up feeling like to sleep in a in a softer bed now i know right. there's some really cool beds out there and i don't want to say that it's i don't better. know if yeah, it's no. better look it it definitely lays out flat your spine and that mm -hmm. feels good i don't even use a pillow if i'm laying on my back keeping that back as straight as you can it, it feels good it's, it's like posture during the day yeah. as i like sit here and remind myself but yeah um, you have the whole night to just have everything aligned and that's when your spine is like really decompressing so yeah. it makes sense to me why it feels really good yeah for travel and flexibility i mean the being able to sleep on the floor, it, it opens up, you know, <laughs> what you can do and, and how and how mobile you are simply because, you know, you can go anywhere to a friend's house, whether or not they have an extra bed or you, you, you don't you don't feel by, confined or yeah. spoiled by by the necessity for a, a certain comfort. I've definitely uh, noticed an improvement like in airports or, yeah. you know, other places where I could just literally lay down and pass out and it's not uncomfortable or decreasing my quality of sleep because I'm already really used to it. <laughs> I, I sleep on the floor in hotels still. Yeah. And on a last note, I didn't really pre-plan this, but coming to think about it now, and you spend half your life in a bed and I don't know how valid this is because you know we're sleeping on the ground but you know a lot of mattresses and stuff carry tons of chemicals and they absorb yeah, I mean, the oils and buy an organic bed which yeah. is expensive <laughs> if you've ever and picked she, up an old mattress and chucked an old mattress because it's been so old that it, it got bad I mean the thing weighs 100 so pounds heavy. more than what it did in the beginning and, and if you think about that it's pretty gnarly but here you know it's you, like a sponge you, you can literally wash the sheet you know or or the pad that you're sleeping on and and vacuum underneath and everything stays aired out and it doesn't it doesn't yeah. nothing nothing collects you know I mean aside from simple waste of of what it takes to produce a mattress. It's, I mean, that's it's an, a beautiful that's thing. That's another thing too, yeah. I mean, if you want to look at it from an ecological, ecological. minimalist standpoint. <laughs>
<laughs> so anyways, those are some few reasons that we've chosen to sleep on the floor. We've been sleeping on the floor for a long time now. Goodness. Yeah. Since, I mean, we've gone back into a bed in certain scenarios. Yeah, we've we haven't used been pads. able to use a bed or but find ourselves in, um, like, places where the owners don't want us to move the bed and we just yeah. like, kind of have no choice. But it always, it always feels better. Better, better coming to back, back to, to it, which is, hence the video but <laughs> <laughs> so anyways that is an unconventional thing that we do in this family and we just thought we'd share it with you and it's i feel like added a lot of value to our life to not mm -hmm. have to think about a bed to purchase a bed move a bed clean a bed you know work around living my bed is bigger bed. than your bed <laughs> It really so long is. as my floor is bigger than whatever your bed would be. And we don't share blankets, <laughs> him and I. We have our own pillows, our own blankets, and it's like we have I couldn't whole sleep room. under your blankets that you sleep under half the time. I'd burn up. I try to cuddle her with her and I get all hot. <laughs> she still has an effective husband barrier if you've been around that long to know what that is. Yes, but we're going to talk about that <laughs> on the next video about sleeping on the floor, which is how our sleeping on the floor setup works and how we're able to do that successfully. Hopefully. And yeah, so let us know in the comments below if you guys sleep on the floor. I don't really know many people who sleep on the floor. Do you? Other than your brother? I can't think of anyone that I know that does it. Yeah, so if you guys sleep on the floor. I'm sure, people in other countries. Probably. Let us know, yeah, yeah, what your floor setup is below and that you do sleep on the floor. Welcome to the club. And next time I'll be talking about my favorite stuffed animal to sleep with. <laughs> I have to have my stuffed animal. It's very important for me. We'll see you guys next time.